Good evening, everybody. Happy uh, Thursday evening. Okay. Let's think about what exercise we can do today. Uh, uh, maybe 100 push ups, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just do 100 push ups, huh? Okay. Fist. Edges Fingers Wrists Oh Palm, palms, wow, ah, okay, hoo hoo. All right, let's take five minutes break, please. Thank you. Wow. Oh. That was nice. Let's get some drinks, shall we? Uh, yeah. Today is one of those days where we have a lot to talk about, okay? So, uh, okay. A lot to talk about.
Lots and lots of things today. So, uh, let's go backward in time, okay? So, uh, I just got out of the Zoom meeting. It was very nice, uh, like, local community council meeting in somewhere in Anchorage. It's very nice. And, uh, but, uh, they have this limit, like, 100, 100 people participants. And there are more than 100 people. Okay, so because they're gonna vote for something in that community in Anchorage. So, some people suggested that uh, non residents, non voting people, uh, maybe they should get out so that <laughs> the voting residents in their community can come in. So, I did. I did get out. Because it's their meeting, okay? <laughs> We're just crashing the party, right? Yeah, and I was already advertised, you know, yeah, my name is Hong Kili. I showed my face. Didn't get to have three minutes to speak, but action speaks louder and louder than words, right? So I kind of calculated very quickly that, yeah, maybe, uh, if I, if they see me getting out of meeting so that other voting residents can participate, probably they, it will work better for my campaign uh, because they will have like, positive information about me as opposed to taking space and prevent voting residents from joining, okay? Yeah, so I, I did the right thing, okay? So, yeah. so probably it works a lot better than me taking space and then speak for three minutes, then I would not have gotten any votes there. <laughs> Okay, because I, they'll be very selfish of me, right? So, so yeah. What else? So, during my uh, lunch hours, okay, I have like one hour lunch. So, uh, I stopped by uh, Mr. Nick Baggage the third. Uh, his uh, campaign event. Why? Uh, because we have mutual friends. Okay, I'm not in liberty to tell their names. Okay, we have mutual friends. Okay? Mr. Nick Baggett himself, I know him. We met, we talked before. He's a Republican. Okay, because so when I used to be a Republican, yeah, we we kind of knew each other. Okay, uh, because we attend these Republican Party meetings and stuff. So yeah. So my first impression of Mr. Nick Baggett the third, uh, he gave me impression of a little bit of standoffish, a little bit elitist, uh, a little bit like arrogant. That was my impression when I first met him a couple of years ago. Okay, but today when I met him again, he it seems like he matured a quite a bit, okay? And he became a people's person, more accessible, more personable, more relatable, okay? So, okay, 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 so... He became a better person than I first met, like, about three years ago. That's great! So I wish them good luck. I also talked to his friends, our mutual friends, and, um, yeah, I wish you good luck, and... Uh, but I want to tell you that I support your campaign, and I also support your former boss's campaign too. Yeah, the Congressman Dan Young's campaign. I, I love you both. So what would I do next year in the ballot? I probably vote for both of them. Both of them. It will be invalid in that particular uh, ballot, but I don't know. <laughs> I cannot pick and choose between friends, okay? Yeah, I, I can't. She can choose between two friends, so I vote for both of them, okay? Yeah. It's kind of ritualistic, kind of like a performance, kind of actions to show my support, okay? So that's what I do when I when both when two or, two or three of my friends run in the same race, same election, I vote for all of them. I cannot pick and choose, oh no. So that was nice. Okay, and um, uh, so 
about this, uh, one or two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I posted in Master State Exchange, I posted the, the this proof of Dirac Delta function, where it's like proof of non-existence of Dirac Delta function. Okay, Dirac Delta function, the way it's defined, it cannot exist. This is a bad definition, okay. Uh, I posted it in meta.stackexchange.com, but they got rid of it. So I thought maybe they're exercising their censorship, which is fine, but I was bombed. But later on, I checked my email, old emails, and realized that no, they, they said, yeah, well, to post something like that, yeah, you have to be a member. Oh, okay, so it was not some censorship, no. So I registered with them, masterstateexchange.com. Then I posted it, they did not get rid of it, okay. So it, it, it was just procedural technical stuff. The, according to their policy, it was not like they were censoring me. No, no. My bad, I I made, I was being a drama, drama queen, drama king, okay. But I was wrong, okay, yeah. So I corrected some erratum here, okay. Yeah. I also copied and pasted, you know, the links to my disproof of special and general relativity. Yeah, I made a comment there. Uh, well, actually, question, this comment disguised as a question, okay? I was like, I th oh, everybody in the world, I think me thinks I disproved special and general relativities of uh, Albert Einstein. Uh, am I wrong? So that was my question. <laughs> also, oh, everybody in the world, I think I me thinks I dis disproved I proved the non-existence of Dirac delta function. Am I wrong? I did that, and they did, kind of and generously they left it there. They didn't get rid of it, but they closed question and answer section. Why? Because it's kind of off topic. It's no mainstream. I read their policy. They only accept an uh, open question. So stack exchange they. Somebody ask a question and other people answer, right? But they sometimes they close it for many different reasons. But so they closed my uh, question so that nobody can answer because uh, off topic according to their policy. Yeah, we only do the mainstream mathematics, mainstream physics. Okay, so yeah, that's fair. As long as they don't delete it, I'm happy camper. All right? Is it part of my campaign activity? Yes. Why? I need to be famous in order to get elected. Okay. Uh, name recognition. So, yes, it's part of my campaign activity. Also, for the betterment of science and mathematics, I do what I can. Yeah, so my campaign, it has dual purposes. Okay, yeah, I do want to get elected as U.S. Senator, one day U.S. President, and contribute to the betterment of humanity. But at the same time, uh, my political campaigning, it serves as a tool uh, for me to like study and publish in order to become famous so that I can, I can get elected. That way, it's a knowledge sharing opportunity for me. Like I learn something and I teach something to other people too. Mutual exchange of knowledge, okay? Otherwise, I would except for politics, except for me campaigning, like for election, I wouldn't do it. I would not be motivated to study and teach. Only because I'm running for politics, because I have faith, maybe one day I get elected. I'm hopeful. That's what motivates me. Kind of like, yeah, not blind belief like back in the days, but hope, optimism. That one day I may get elected, so let's work toward that. Okay, so I learn and I teach. Part of my campaign activity, okay, so to get more famous, more known, okay? Yeah. Hmm? Let's take five minutes break, please, okay? And then we'll talk about something else, okay? Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh. Yeah.
Okay, so let's talk so, a little bit more about Mr. Nick Baggett's the third uh, campaign. Okay, the way I observed, uh, he might have a good chance of winning. Okay, because he was very respectful, just quite different from what I remembered. Like last time I met him a couple of years ago. Okay, and we have again we have mutual friends. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think they have, may have a good chance next year winning against Congressman Daniel, okay? It was quite surprising, okay? But they left me with very good impression earlier today, okay? Okay. Yeah. They're very humble and respectful, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because humility, respect, that's the impression they left with, left, left with me. Okay, so then, uh, yeah, they, they do have my blessings. Okay. Yeah. Because I thought. Mr. Nick Beckett's the third, I thought he may be the same as like uh, Ms. Kelly Chibaka, right? Kind of elitist, kind of arrogant. Because that's a kind of impression that Ms. Kelly Chibaka's campaign left, left to me, okay? But I did not get the same impression from the Mr. Beckett's campaign, okay? Well, we we'll still have to see, okay? Like, uh, he will start to write, like, to, like, op ed, opinion, editorial, whatever, to newspapers. I will have to see what, like, how he write, because he just declared his candidacy, like, uh, a couple of days ago, okay? <laughs> he makes big news nationwide, like, yeah. Also, all of Alaska as well, of course. And uh, I was impressed. Eh? Yeah. So, yeah, his campaign. People like we are mutual friends, friends in his campaign. Okay, so and um, me, my campaign is just me. Okay, I mean, a couple of good, a few good friends like you. Yeah, help me out, right? Thank you. Uh, but officially, it's just me. <laughs> Mostly attending Zoom meetings, writing some articles, disproving Dirac's data function, disproving Albert Einstein's special general relativity. <laughs> That's how my campaign is going on. Like, uh, if local community council meetings, if they don't have Zoom meetings, I email them, okay? Introducing myself, just like three minute speech, but in writing, okay. Because sometimes they include that in the packet, meeting packet, okay. Yeah. So. So, Mr. Baggage's campaign and my campaign, some kind, of, somewhat like mutual appreciation, mutual respect, perhaps some mutual sympathy as well, because his campaign is going against. Uh, establishment, Mr. Danyong, and um, my campaign is going against, again, establishment, um, Senator Samkowski, okay, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of mutual validation, mutual recognition, uh, mutual appreciation, and, um, Kind of mutual legitimization, kind of, right? Yeah, it was nice. It was, I, I could not stay there for too, too long because I was in my lunch break. Uh, I stayed there for, for like 10 minutes. Okay, why? I had to get back to work. Okay. And I gotta eat to my running and stuff. So. For 10 minutes, that, that, that's good enough. Okay. So, uh, to test that, uh, yeah, kind of mutual legitimization, 
Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are saying, yeah, your campaign is legit. They're saying, yeah, my campaign is legit. Yeah, so it was nice. Yeah, that, that, that's what friendship is about, right? Yeah, in social media, yeah. Yeah, you're legit. I say to my friends, yeah, you're legit. They tell me, yeah, I'm legit. Mutual legitimization. That, that's great. That was good in friendship. Kind of mutual recognition. Basically, we are saying, yeah, you're not weird. They are saying, yeah, I'm not that weird. <laughs> okay. Very important, right? Yeah, we are kind of mainstreamizing ourselves. All right. Yeah, that's good. Oxygen, fresh air, okay. This mutual exchange of uh, friendship, okay, I, communication, I think that's very essential for human mental survival, okay. Friendship, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? So, I watched some of this Governor Sarah Poland's interviews. I like her, okay, she got a great sense of humor, very charming lady, okay, so, uh, yeah. I really enjoy, really enjoy watching her interviews, but, yeah, I mean, so, three mainstream candidates, okay, Except, I'm not mainstream candidate. I'm dark horse candidate. Okay. Uh, so, Sarah Palin, Kelly Tsubaka, and Lisa Mikorski. Uh, out of three, if I don't get elected, I, I, I'd rather see uh, Kelly Tsubaka get elected. Why? Because she, she, uh, she's entertaining. Okay. Sarah Palin, as she, she served. Okay, she did. Oh, yeah, very well. Yeah, very entertaining. Okay. Many times, yeah, she got left at kind of guilty pleasure. <laughs> Us, the rest of the world, kind of laughing at her. Yeah, so what? It's entertaining. Okay, so maybe it was not such a big, such a mistake at all that Alaska, Alaskans elected her for governor. Okay. Because she, she, she's entertaining. Okay. Yeah, sometimes guilty pleasure, yeah, we make fun of her, okay, laugh at her, okay. So what? Kelly Tsubaka, if she gets elected, I think it will be more entertaining than uh, Sarah Palin or uh, Lisa Mikorski. Yeah, Kelly Tsubaka, it will be like Trump or Sarah Palin. Kelly Tsubaka will be ref left at subject matter of this GR and ridicule. Yeah, so what? She looks great. She's a very good looking lady, and we're gonna have some entertainment out of her. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I'd rather see Kelly Tsubaka get elected as opposed to Sarah Palin. She served, she entertained us already, okay? Lisa Mikoski, she's not entertaining, she's boring, okay? If Alaska elects Kelly Tsubaka next year, I don't think there will be a mistake. It'd be good entertainment, okay? Yeah! She's good looking, she's a very charming lady, Kelly Tsubaka. And also, she'd be left at, made fun at, made fun of, just like Trump. And she'd be entertaining to us. Yeah. But, I'm also running, okay? If I get elected, will I be able to entertain people? Oh, yeah. Will I be entertained, more entertaining than Kelly Chibaka? Yes. Why? Well, I know how to act, I know how to make jokes. Will people laugh at me, make fun of me if I get elected as your senator next year? Yeah. I'm, oh, I welcome that. Because I'll be laughing too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But next year, because some friends of mine asked me, okay, yeah, who are you going to vote for next year, U.S. Senate? 
Yeah, I kind of lied. I said yeah, because I know they are Kelly Tibaka fans. To please them, okay. I say I I said something like, yeah, I, I don't think I would vote for Lisa Mikoski. I think I I might vote for Kelly Tibaka. Then they asked me back, then why are you running? You're not even voting for yourself. Why am I running? Yeah, because I have some different ideas. Then ideas of Kelly Tibaka. Okay, so I have different. I have my own agenda, my own ideas. That's why I'm running. But I lied. I'm not gonna vote for Kelly Tibaka. Who am I gonna vote for? I will vote for all the dark horse candidates, other than myself. There are like nine of them so far. Unknown candidates like myself. I will vote for all of them. Unknown candidates, dark horse candidates, except for myself, because I don't vote for myself. Okay. I used to when I was running for class president in elementary school in South South Korea back in 1980s. I used to vote. I, when I was in third grade, I got one vote. It was me. I voted for, for myself. And my classmates would just laugh at me. Ha ha! You got one vote! We know who that is! It was you, wasn't it? I was like, I didn't say yes at the time. But yes, it was me. I voted. I was the only one who voted for myself. I was third grade, like 11 years old, 10 years old, something like that. I became a laughing stock. Yeah. So no, I'm not going to repeat myself. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat my mistake. If I get zero vote, Next year, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll be relaxing to talk, okay? But at least people in the world will know that I did not vote for myself because I got zero votes. Okay? Zero vote. Zero voto. It's not singular, it's not plural, it's a zero vote. So zero voto, I guess, okay? So suffix for number zero, huh? Whatever. Okay, let's say five minutes, please. I'm sorry about bad hair day, okay? I'm struggling to make it look nicer, but it's not quite working. <laughs> not tonight, it's not quite working. Five minutes, please, thank you. I'm just class clown. Uh, all right.
Okay. So, if I may, please, uh, can I talk some more about politics? I'm sorry if I'm boring you, uh, but we'll talk about humanology later, okay? Something very exciting, okay? So, some brand new equation, okay, that involves some geometry too, okay? So, I'm excited to talk about that too, okay? So, but for, yeah, let's finish up political talks, if I may, please. Okay? Cheers. So, Miss Sarah Palin, Miss Kelly Chibaka, okay, I kind of feel sorry, okay. They're kind of aging, okay, their campaign is not going very well, okay, I feel sorry. You know, in Korean Maxim, yeah, have cold brain and warm heart. Cold brain meaning, yeah, when you are doing science, mathematics, rationality, yeah, be objective, okay, but have warm heart. Don't be cold-blooded animal, like reptile, okay? Have warm heart, compassion, sympathy, okay? So yeah, when, yeah, Kelly Chibaka, she got in, into this, let's give it a name, Fishgate, like Watergate, some corruption, okay? So yeah, Kelly Chibaka, let's give it a name, Fishgate. She made two violations in Alaska, fishing law, okay? She got convicted for one, okay, yeah, yeah, some netting, you, she needs commercial fishing license to get catch from, catch salmon from net, she didn't, okay, so, yeah, she has her lawyer, she's a lawyer herself, and um, they said, like, yeah, well, she was a guest, okay, but <laughs> Department of Wildlife and Fishing Game, whatever, yeah, they, they did charge her for, for $250 and she said, yeah, we protest, but yeah, we pay the fine. Let's get over with it. It's not crime, it's in, uh, infraction. Okay, so minor. It's not even misdemeanor. There's crime, misdemeanor, and infraction. So the law that she violated is like parking, parking violation. Infraction, okay, two hundred and fifty dollars fee, some fine, something like that, okay, penalty. You should pay for it, okay. Yeah. But she got another fishing violation. Then she, she was not charged against that violation, okay. But I think she was guilty of that too. Was that? Yeah, as a known resident, she purchased residential fishing license, which is a lot cheaper, okay. <sighs> I think she's guilty of both of them, okay? Fish, fish gate, okay? So her campaign got this blow in her campaign, okay? <laughs> A lot of Alaskans are very much disappointed at her, okay? I feel sorry, okay? Yeah. Sometimes I'm very, I'm very uh, harsh when I criticize my political opponents, hey, welcome to politics. That's just how it is, okay? But I'm not ruthless, I'm not brutal, no. I'm a human being, I have human compassion. So I feel sorry for Kelly Chibaka, Sarah Pauline, okay? Yeah, they're aging, but I think they're aging gracefully, and I hope and pray that they age gracefully, okay? Yeah, some people do, okay? I hope they do too. Yeah, I love my enemies, okay, Sarah Pauline, Kelly Chibaka, Lisa Mikorsky, I love them, okay. They're very beautiful ladies, okay, and um, I pray for them, okay, yeah. I love my enemies, okay, because I practice Christianity, Jesus Christianity, okay. But my suggestion to uh, Miss Sarah Pollen, I think she should do some daytime talk show or whatever, some TV personality, television, some talk show, okay? That would be my recommendation because she already her politics before. She served very well. By and large, she made some mistakes too, but 
去年做 ten dollars。OK， my recommendation to uh government former governor Sarah Palin of Alaska， uh you have some talk show。嗯， talk show。TV talk show, okay. That was my recommendation, okay. She's been there on that politics, okay. Uh, Kelly Tibaka, yeah, she uh, might get elected next year, okay. If I don't get elected, I, I hope she, she would get elected. Because, uh, Lisa Mokoski, she's too boring, okay. She's boring, okay. I, I'd rather see Kelly Tibaka as senator, okay. She's entertaining, okay. Yeah, so. But, do I want to get elected next year? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's given. That's why I'm running. Whatever. What else? So, I, I really like the interviews that I watched on YouTube. Uh, former governor, Sarah Palin, okay. Uh, she said, yeah, I like her choice of wording choice of words like she said yeah there are a lot of snakes in the republican party okay so when she lost i mean she and senator mccain of arizona what year was that august obama right 2012 right <laughs> Some Republicans blamed her, made her as a scapegoat. Yeah, we lost this presidential election against Obama. Uh, I think it was 2008, right? Yeah, it was 2008, okay. 2012, there was like Mitt Romney and uh, Paul. What's his name? Yeah, the US representative from Wisconsin. Paul Ryan, right? Yeah, that's 2012, right? But 2008, yeah, Sarah Palin and John McCain, right? When they lost presidential ticket against Obama and Biden, yeah, some Republicans made her a scapegoat and blamed her for the election loss. Yeah, we lost because Sarah, we lost because of Sarah Palin, okay? So Sarah Palin talked about that in her interviews, okay? I felt very sorry, okay, so. She also talked about not being invited to uh, Senator John McCain's funeral. Again, I'm sorry, okay, yeah. I'm proud of her. Former governor Sarah Palin, okay. She's from Wasilla, Alaska. Me, I live just outside of Wasilla, Alaska. Clinic, Clinic Fairview community, okay. So. But I never once met her, okay. So. But yeah, but uh, I'm very proud of her. Okay, yeah. So yeah, long live the queen, okay? Yeah, let her do daytime talk show host or nighttime talk show, whatever, okay? She'll do very well, okay? She's entertaining, she's a very good looking lady. Aging very gracefully, okay? Yeah, yeah. Let her do some daytime talk show, okay? So in, on television, okay? Cable TV, whatever, okay? Uh -huh. I think she has very good future in this talk show. Yeah, like political talk show, whatever, okay? Yeah, she should do fantastic, okay? So that will be my recommendation to her, okay? How about Kelly Tsubaka? Yeah! I wish your best for her campaign. Uh, if I don't get elected, yeah, I'd rather see her get elected because she's entertaining, okay? I want to be entertained, okay? She's a good-looking lady. I think she has a pretty good sense of humor too, okay? <laughs> so, and she's nice. I met her once. Alaska State Fair, like 
Two months ago, right? Hmm? What if she loses? Next year election? Well, a lot of people will blame me for it. I'm an easy target. I don't have any institutional backings. I'm just one man campaign, okay? If Kelly Tibaka loses, I will get I will get a lot of blame for it, okay? But there's a chance that I will get zero votes. Zero vote. Okay, then they're not, they're not gonna blame me. <laughs> but if I get a couple of hundreds, couple of thousand votes next year, then yeah, it'll be swarming bees. Alaskan Republicans, okay, they blame me. If Kelly Chibaka loses next year, I may have to run out of Alaska. Okay. Because Alaskan Republican people, many of them are my friends. Some of them are not my friends. So when Kelly Chibaka loses election next year, they may come at me. What will I do? I get out of Alaska. Why? I'm a survivor. I'm not Jesus. I'm not going to just sit there and take it. No. No crucifixion. That's one part I depart. We depart as humanologists from Christianity, okay? We don't like human sacrifice. No, we don't get crucified. We don't become a martyr, martyrs. No. We are survivors, okay? If people come at me, some of Alaskan Republican people who are not my friends, who form support of Kelly Chibaka, hypothetically, if she loses, they may come at me. They did, some of them, last year, when I ran for Alaska State Senate. Some supporters of other candidates, they accused me of stealing the votes. They were like, Oh yeah, our candidate lost because of you. You stole our votes. You didn't win. You just stole our votes, okay? It's our candidate lost because of you. We blame you for the failure of our favorite candidate. It's all your fault. I suffered through that last year, okay? Next year, if Kelly Chibaka loses, if I lose too, they may come at me. If too many people come at me like that, I have to get out of Alaska, okay? Because I, I don't have time for that kind of stuff, okay? Where do I go? <sighs> if people come at me next year after Kelly Chibaka lose the election, and they come at me, blaming me for stealing her votes. Where would I go? Because I, I wanna, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to sit there and take it. I'm not Jesus. I'm against Jesus' crucifixion, human sacrifice. I object to that. Okay? So if enough Alaskan Republicans come at me, blaming me, hypothetically, for the loss of... Kelly Chibaka's election, if too many people come at me like that, I will get out of Alaska. Because I got, I got better things to do. I'm, I don't fight. No, I'm not a fighter, okay? I'm a lover, okay? <laughs> Quoting from Michael Jackson, okay, this uh, Paul McCartney, whatever, okay? She's mine, whatever. Whatever, okay, so yeah, if enough Al number of Alaskan Republicans come at me, blaming me for hypothetically Kelly Chibaka's loss of election next year, I will get out of Alaska. Okay, then what step would I, would I go? Will I go back to South Korea? I don't think so, okay. I love South Korea, but America has 50 different states, all of territories too, okay. So where would I go if enough number of Alaskan Republicans come at me, blaming me for the 
hypothetically, okay, the loss of election of Kelly Chibaka, their hero, heroine, okay, what state would I go? We continue after five minutes break. Okay. We are writing a novel. I'm a writer. I'm a novelist, fiction, fictionalist. I'm a writer, fiction, novel. I'm a novelist, fictionalist, writer. Okay. Right. We are writing a novel, impromptu, improvisational style. Okay. Yeah. Where would I go? What state? We talk about that. We continue this fiction writing, creative writing. Improvisational writing, loosely based on hypothetically, could be a true story. We don't know. Okay, I'm a writer. I write fictions, novels, po poems. Okay, we we'll take five minutes break and we we'll continue. Okay, how interesting, right? In humanity, we we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, yeah, maybe not today. Maybe uh, this weekend, Saturday. I don't know. Okay. But I wrote it down, okay, so some brand new discovery in human energy, okay, we'll talk about it at some point, okay, five minutes please, thank you, okay, how interesting, right, okay, okay.
Okay. <coughs> yeah, I apologize for long breaks. I went to bathroom and did some social media. Taking bathroom selfies like I quite frequently do. Uh, let me switch out this vodka. Okay. Yeah. Because I ran out of vodka, okay. I cannot operate this humanology without drinks, okay? It's like I'm a humanology shaman. Altered mindset. Some substance, okay? That's how shamanism is, okay? Even back in the day, Rig Veda, like 1500 years ago, okay, in India, okay? Yeah, they use some herbs, some substance, okay? Auto mindset, okay? Yeah, that's what shamanism is about, okay? I don't do any drugs, I just drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. That's good enough for me as a humanology shaman. <laughs> Humanological shamanism, okay, yeah. Yeah. How about Christianity? Yeah, Jesus, he drank, he was a drinker, okay, he drank wine, red wine, okay. So, whatever, okay. Let's talk about Ms. Kelly Chibaka, okay? Because I care about my fellow politicians, like Santa Lisa Mokoski, Kelly Chibaka, Sarah Palin, okay, so. If they lose elections, okay, let's give them some suggestions, okay? If I win, then they will lose next year, U.S. Senate from Alaska, okay? If I win, they lose, let's give them some alternative career track. Sarah Palin, yeah, daytime TV show, talk show, okay? Or nighttime, whatever, okay? TV talk show. She'll do very well, okay? How about Kelly Chibaka? My recommendation, if she loses next year election to me or to somebody else, I think she should move to California. She'll be very well received there, okay? She's a lawyer, okay? She got, she, she went to Harvard Law School. She's great, okay? Yeah, she passed by exam in Maryland, okay? She's a lawyer. Okay, I think she'll be very well received in California. Alaska, I don't, yeah, she was born and raised in Alaska. Kelly Chibaka, she's born and raised in Alaska, okay. But I don't think Alaska will suit her very well, okay. I, I don't think so, okay. Yeah, maybe California or maybe Washington State or Oregon, okay. As a lawyer, I think she'll do very well, okay. Yeah. Give me my recommendation. If Santa Lisa Mukoski lose election to me or to somebody else, uh, I would rather recommend her to become a professor in some university. Okay? Maybe University of Alaska. Okay? Yeah. In Fairbanks or Anchorage, wherever. Okay? I think Santa Lisa Mukoski uh, should make a good professor. Huh? Yeah. In political science, whatever, okay? Yeah, I, th I think she'd make a good professor, okay? So, because I care about them. Okay? Yeah. After all this said and done, yeah, I'm a Christian, okay? I love my enemies, alright? What if I, I lose? Yeah, I'm a lawyer. I do my lawyer job, just like I always do, okay, nowadays. And then. After, after I lose, I'll hunker down and write it all down, okay? More papers, academic papers, cranking out, okay? One paper per month, okay? Just like I did last year, okay? No problem. Mm -hmm. Now, humanology, okay? Interesting equation, okay, yeah. Uh, let me turn up the heat or temperature level. It is too cold.
And we're going to take five minutes break, okay? Because uh, uh, this is kind of a big topic, okay? So... We need a whiteboard for this, okay? And uh, we came up with a brand new equation in human analogy, okay? Let's give it a name. Canaan equation, okay? Yeah, like land of promise, Joshua, Exodus, okay? Canaan equation, okay? So it's in Bible, Old Testament, okay? Yeah, Joshua, Moses, okay? They went out of Egypt and land of promise, Canaan, Jericho, castle, okay? The land of milk and honey, okay, so, Canaan, okay, so. We name it as Canaan equation and um, we have to erase this, okay, because we need some whiteboard, okay, so. Let me take a picture of this before I erase it, okay? I'm sure I already did it back in the days, but. It has humanized our linguistics, okay? Let's take five minutes break, please, okay? Thank you. Alright, so I took a picture of this so I can erase this, okay? So it's human art is called linguistics in Alaskan native language style, okay? Uh, because we need room, we're gonna have to erase it, okay? But I took a picture, it's all recorded, human art series, okay? Maybe uh, about two months ago, okay? So I'm still studying Alaskan languages, beautiful languages, okay? So. Dunaina, Tanana, and Athabaskan, Klinkit, and Alusian, Unangan, beautiful languages, okay? So, but we need some room, okay? So, uh, let's uh, make some room here, okay? It's all tab recorded, okay? Uh, two pictures, and so good, okay? Let's move on. So, okay. <sighs> So in mathematics, okay, there's the geometric algebra, algebraic geometry, yeah. Algebra, there's a very Arabic origin. Al means the, Allah, God. Like, yeah, in English, yeah, theism, the, like the, the, the God, theism, okay. 
And monotheism, polytheism, the article, definite article is the God. Okay, so in Arabic, yeah, al, it means the definite article. Okay, in linguistics, grammatically speaking, okay, so the God or the al Allah, okay, is pretty much same. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, Arabic, get yeah, al means the, definite article, like in Spanish, like el niño, okay, the boy, okay, the, right, el, al, the same thing, okay? Kind of like Middle Eastern, European, Romance language is same root, okay, so it is linguistics, okay? Right. Now, so we're going to combine algebra and geometry, okay? Let me say thanks to Safi, okay? My hair kind of looks funky, so... Can I help? Good enough. So, we'll mix geometry and algebra, okay? Here we go. Let's do it, okay? So, you have a triangle plus upside down triangle plus a square, okay? Equals a circle, okay? Yeah, we kind of talked about this like a year ago, okay? When we do this thing with pi, alright? Yeah. Using like limit, area of circle. Okay, the polygons, okay. We did that stuff about a year ago, okay. In this human artery series, okay. Now, interpretation, okay. Huh? Welcome to humanology. We are very scientific, mathematical, linguistical. We are very academic here, okay? So, yeah, so positive copy and go up, okay? To this right side of triangle, that's like idolatry, okay? The star, sun, celebrities. Money, power, fame, whatever. Yeah, idolatry, okay. Well, let's give it a name. It's a Kanan equation, okay. Kena apostrophe, there's a glottal stop in linguistics, okay. Kenan equation, okay. Alright. So you have, to, you have some idol to worship. It could be Jesus, Moses, Joshua, or Donald J. Trump. Who knows? Okay. Okay. Upside down triangle. Yeah, negative copy on going down. The scapegoat. In Christianity, yeah, it's this kind of exceptional religion. Okay, Christianity. Jesus is a subject matter of idolatry. People worship Jesus in Christian churches. But at the same time, Jesus is also scapegoat. So that's why Christianity is quite exceptional religion, okay? In Nazism, yeah, Adolf Hitler, Mr. Adolf Hitler, Herr Adolf Hitler, he was subject to matter of this worship, idolatry. Adolf Hitler in Nazism back in. 1940s in Germany, in Europe, okay? But when he lost the war, World War II, 
he became scapegoat, okay? People blame him, make fun of him, okay? Okay? Any comments? We finished this situation. Yeah, I'm drunk, but I'm not too, too drunk, okay? I'm trained drink also. <laughs> we take five minutes break because I gotta go to the bathroom. I, I gotta take a leak, okay? So. <sighs> Outside is snowing, so I have to use my bathroom, okay? So. We talked about this, right? Let's take a break from all this. Yeah, predictable sequence of sounds. Predictable sequence of sounds. A man go to bathroom, right? Open the door like kick, then walk. Ch -ch -ch. <sighs> Unzip his pants and then discharge his liquid. Like Ch -ch. Then zip up his pants, flush the urinal, okay, and walk toward this washing area. Ch -ch -ch. Then, yeah, turn on the faucet and wash his hands, turn off the faucet and then dryer or maybe kitchen towel, bathroom towel. Then walk again to the door, open the door and close it. Oh, yeah, pretty terrible sequence of sound. Pretty terrible sequence of sound, sequence of sounds in men's bathroom, okay? How about female bathroom? I have no idea what it sounds like, okay? Because I'm not a... Pervert, I'm not... I don't go to female bathrooms, okay? I go to male bathroom, okay? I don't go to female bathroom. I have no idea what sequence of sounds would sound like in female bathroom. Just, I don't know. I don't go to female bathroom, okay? I'm not a pervert. I'm not a criminal, okay? So. We'll take five minutes break for this, okay? I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Look, I'm a class clown. I'm a comedian. I make jokes, but if I'm not too funny, please forgive me. I apologize. I'm sorry. But I try, okay? As an amateur comedian, okay? So. Five minutes, please. Thank you. <laughs> please, five minutes. Okay? Yeah. I go to the bathroom, okay? I'm the only person in this house, okay? So if I go to the bathroom, it's men's room, okay? So. No problem there, okay? Alright. Five minutes, please. Thank you. Alright.
Okay, so let's finish your finish up this equation. Okay, so I gotta go to bed. I'm not hungry, but I gotta sleep. Okay, I gotta go to bed, bed and get back to work tomorrow, Friday. Okay, so we finish this up real quick. Okay, yeah. Sorry for long breaks. Yeah, went to bathroom. Okay, discharge my liquid. Do some social media, okay? Yeah. Took some selfies, whatever. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just average, average Joe, average guy, okay? So, okay. So, square, yeah, it's about rules, set of rules, it's this ideology, okay? <sighs> ideology, set of rules, squared. We scare, scare you up, okay? Ideology. Okay. And the round part is the promised land, Canaan, the land of milk and honey, okay? It's organizational success. Organizational success. Okay. That's all there is to it, okay? That's like macro level, macroscopic level, societal level. Definition of success, okay, so. But, scapegoating, yeah, we don't want to scapegoat any people, okay? In humanology, we look toward the future. We learn from history. We learn what our ancestors aired when they made some mistakes. We do not want to make, repeat those mistakes committed by our ancestors, okay? We learn from history so that we don't repeat bad history, okay? In humanology, we look toward the future. We want to make humanity better than the past. We want to take the next step, okay? So then what do we scapegoat, sacrifice? Yeah, ideologies, bad ideologies. Not people, ideologies, okay? Yeah, <clears throat> year ago, we said that yeah, ideologies, they eat people. Ideologies, they are higher than us, so they predate on us. They are like predators. They eat people. Ideologies, okay? But in the future, maybe people can eat ideologies. Can reversal, okay? Of hierarchy. We can overcome bad ideologies, okay? We can eat them, okay? So we, not, we will not scapegoat, sacrifice, people, but we will instead sacrifice bad ideologies, okay, like LGBTism, tattooism, piercingism, marijuanaism, whatever, drug addiction, vaping, okay, whatever out there, okay, plastic surgery, tanning, bad ideologies, okay, okay, now, so that's macroscopic, Success equation, organization or success equation, okay. But personal level, success equation is this, okay. So that's macro level. Macro universe, big level, organizational, a lot of people, societal, okay. That's the macro success equation, okay? So, but micro level, personal level, individualistic level, success equation, we talked about this like a year ago, okay? Yeah. In microscopic level, individualistic, personal level, success equation, okay? Success is equal to? Morality plus happiness. If you are happy, morally and ethically, yeah, you are successful. We don't care about money, power, fame. No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, organizational success, okay, as a company, as an 
activist group. Yeah, it, yes, it's land of milk and honey. Yeah, money, power, fame. Okay. All right, big money, a lot of subscribers, a lot of supporters, fans. Yeah, that's organizational success. Okay, but the personal level. Success. All we care about is in this humanity brand. You are moral, ethical, you are righteous, and you are happy. That's individual level success. Okay? Now, I told you we got a lot to talk about, okay? The interaction between idolatry If positive idolatry, yeah, you worship somebody like Jesus, Trump, Biden, Obama, whatever. Negative idolatry, yeah, you blame somebody scapegoating, okay? You blame Adolf Hitler, you blame Trump for everything that went wrong, okay? This idolatry is right sort of up triangle, positive idolatry or negative idolatry. If it's scapegoating, okay, you blame Trump, you blame Adolf Hitler, whatever, okay. Idolatry, okay. The relationship b between idolatry and um, ideology, okay. Yeah, that's the question we asked like last night, previous episode in humanology, okay. What's the interrelationship? Okay. Yeah, kind of brand new subject matter in this brand of humanology. Okay, so. So, what ideology become mainstream? Okay, like today, year 2021, ideology in America, mainstream ideology. Yeah, climate change. COVID-19, okay. Yeah, that's what media is talking about all the time, okay. Ad nauseum to the like, uh, ad nauseum, like, oh, uh, nauseous, nauseum. Okay. Oh, we want to throw up because they talk about it all the time. They are cramming our throat, da pushing down our throat. Yeah, COVID 19, climate change. Like, oh, too much. We have to throw up. Okay, yeah, COVID 19, climate change. Disgusting. Okay. Force feeding, right? Yeah, from media. Yeah. But the one way to understand this, one way to interpret this phenomenon is that yeah, climate change ideology, okay, like ego, okay, yeah, carbon dioxide, greenhouse gas, it's, it's been there for decades by now. Now, yeah, they've been working on this. Anti climate change ism ideology, okay. They've been working on for that ideology for decades 20 years, 30 years, okay. Now they are getting highlight, highlight, so they are being examined whether this anti climate change ideology is sound or unsound. They are being examined, scrutinized, okay. How LGBT ideology? They've been working on that for decades. LGBT, yeah, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender ideology, advocacy, activism. They've been working on for decades, like three decades at least in America. Okay, now they're getting spotlight, highlight. Okay, so they're being scrutinized. They're being examined. Okay, because they've been working on this for three decades. Climate change, LGBT ideology, okay. Yeah, COVID-19, that's a different story because it just came out, right? Yeah, a couple of years ago, right? So, okay. In my opinion, LGBT ideology, keto piercing, marijuana, or Climate change ideology, LGBT ideology, or plastic surgery ideology, 
Uh, it's not an edict, it's not a law, but I just don't recommend those bad ideologies, in my opinion, to anybody else. It's just a recommendation. If you are in it, you get out of there. Just a recommendation. Okay. Okay. So idolatry, yeah. They said one person, it could be a dead person like Jesus, or a live person like Trump. Okay? The people need somebody to worship. It could be a dead person like Jesus or a live person like Trump. They want somebody to worship, okay? And yeah, scapegoating, yeah, this opposite side, the right side of triangle, positive copy on going up. Opposite side, yeah, this negative copy on going down. They need somebody to blame. Scapegoating, okay? It could be a person or a group of people, like some race or some gender or some company, corporation, okay? Yeah, they do that, okay? But, as a humanologist, we do not want to sacrifice any human beings. We don't blame any human being. We don't. We blame ideologies, bad ideologies, okay? What's the ideology set of rules, okay? Yeah. So, interrelation relationship between ideology and idolatry. Yeah, we are still figuring it out, okay? So, it's human knowledge is still in development. We are young scientists. It's young, human knowledge is very young science, okay? We continue to think about it, talk about it, okay? We figure it all out, okay? And make it a handsome equation or inequality, whatever. Mathematical equation or inequality, whatever, okay? We get there, okay? Yeah, but we are still figuring it out, okay? We have time, okay? Like Rolling Stone, British band. British invasion, <laughs> okay. musically speaking. Yeah, time is on my side. Yes, it is. It's cool, okay. Mick Jagger, Rolling Stones, okay. They're cool. Yeah. yeah. So this is manipulationism, okay. Advocates, activists of some ideologies, they work on that advocacy activism for decades, like three decades, like LGBT, climate change. Finally, they get their share of fame, but that's not the end of the story, okay? Because they are being examined, like LGBT ideology, climate change ideology. They get highlights, they get all the interviews from CNN, Fox, whatever, okay? MSNBC, okay? They are being examined, LGBT ideology or climate change ideology, okay? Because they've been working on for two, three decades, 23 years, okay? So they are being examined, okay? Being scrutinized, public, public light, media exposure, okay? My prediction, they will fail. LGBT ideology, climate change ideology, COVID-19 ideology, Okay. Tattoos, piercings, marijuana, or what have you, LGBT, uh, ultra interracialism, okay. This, Hollywood, okay. You have a white girl. Hollywood today, 2021, okay, they pair up with black guy or Asian guy or Indian guy, some ethnic guy, okay. Ultra interracialism. I don't like that, okay. A 5% exception recognized, okay? Yeah, it's mutually beneficial 5% of the time intermingle, interracial marriage. We, we acknowledge that, a 5% exception, but in this brand of humanology, okay, 95% of the time, 
when people are young enough to have children, same race opposite gender marriage. Anti ultra interracialism. Okay, that's what we advocate for. Advocate for. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like Nazi Hitler. Okay, but we recommend. It's a mere recommendation. Yeah, ninety five percent of the time, same race, opposite gender marriage. Okay, that's our recommendation. Five percent exception recognized. Okay, yeah, intermixing interracialism. 5% of the time, it's good, it's healthy, okay? It prevents genetic diseases, okay? If race becomes too pure, it becomes like, more like incest. We don't want that, okay? 5% yeah. exception recognized, okay? Yeah. But, we are friends, okay? Some of my friends are tattooed, pierced, some of my friends smoke marijuana. Some of my friends, yeah, they married other races. Okay. Whatever, okay. We are friends. That's what what's great about America. Plurality, diversity. We are all different. We still respect each other. We live in peace. We agree to disagree. Not disagree to agree, okay. Yeah, maybe we disagree to agree, okay? But at the same time, we agree to disagree, okay? Peaceful, le live and let live, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we recommend if people are young enough to have kids, I'm postmenopausal, okay, as a male. I'm too old to have kids. I mean, I'm not important. I'm not important either. But I don't have energy to have kids and grandkids. I passed that age, okay? So I only date mature ladies. Yeah. I am postmenopausal, okay? So I only date mature ladies, okay? So, because we are not gonna have kids, okay? So, do I date different races? other than my race, Asian race. Yes, I do. But I only date mature ladies. Young ladies, yeah, let them get married, have kids, okay. Recommendation, yeah, same race, okay. But I don't mess with young ladies, I don't. I only date mature ladies. I'm postmenopausal, okay. I cannot have kids because biologically I can, but I think I can, <laughs> but metaphysically, I'm too old to have kids, raise kids, grandkids. I don't have time or energy, okay? So I only do date virtual ladies. Okay? Good. We're not gonna have any kids, okay? So, so I don't have how many races, other races, purity and integrity, I don't, okay? I only date mature ladies. Ladies in my age or older, okay. So I don't mess with the young ladies, okay. I don't. Let them marry the same race, opposite gender, okay. So that's the Tao way of anti-ultra interracialism in this brand of human energy, okay. I understand that's not very popular ideology. It kind of sounds like Nazi. Hitlerian, but it's not, okay? We advocate for diversity of all races. We want blacks to be blacks. We want whites to be white. We want browns to be browns, Jews, Arabs, Asians, natives. But we love mixed races. Me? I'm ideologically mixed race. I'm half and half, half left, half right, okay? We love mixed races, okay? 5% exception very much appreciated and recognized okay all right we talked enough okay so let's wrap up for tonight okay so, so i gotta sleep and get back to work tomorrow okay all right thank you good night happy halloween okay maybe this discussion of all these politics ideologies maybe was 
somewhat disagreeable, if not scary, but happy Halloween this coming weekend, okay, be safe, please, no, no drinking and driving, okay, if you want to drink, drink at home, okay, if you are good out there, drink outside, call a taxi cab, okay, or have a designated driver, no drinking and driving, okay, I only drink at home, okay, if I drink outside, I eat, take a walk, and wait until I get sober. I just, what is, uh, back, blood alcohol concentration, breathalyzer in my car. Okay. I make sure I'm sober enough to drive. Okay. But outside, I don't drink. Okay. I, mostly I drink it in my house. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to. Go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, okay? I do not want to screw up my campaign. I'm running for United States Senate. Okay? So, being a political candidate, I stay out of trouble, okay? Because I'm out there in public. Yeah, in America, they say, yeah, Light is the most effective uh, disinfectant. Public eyes, okay. So, I become a better person ever since I ran for public office as a candidate. I never got elected, but I became a better person because I behave. Because I mean, public eyes, everybody's watching at me, watching me. I have to behave. Okay. My recommendation? Yeah, run for public office. You become a better person. I did. Okay? So, our recommendation, be a politician, run for a public office, okay? You, you make better personal with yourself, and you make better world for others too. Okay? Alright. Happy Halloween! This weekend, okay? Please be safe. Stay out of trouble, okay? Abide by the law. Okay? Learn and teach. Share your knowledge. And learn from others. And teach others. Okay? So God bless you. Thank you. Have a good night, okay? Thank you. Bye.